Today we're going to go for two games against Barcelona. First off, a six-pointer in La Liga, and then the final of the Copa del Rey. Okay, here's where we stand. First off, you might notice the ma that as far as manager... Blah, 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 I always fuck up at the beginning, don't I? Always at the beginning. As far as manager performance goes, I've got a B, so that's improved. It was a C plus last time. It's gone up to a B, which is good news, despite that drubbing to, to Liverpool. Um, let's just have a quick look at what's happened since then. Look, we had that huge defeat. But since then, we've been perfect. 4-0 against Osasuna. 3-0 against Leganes, then Real Valladolid, who I can never say, Valladolid, Real Valladolid, Valladolid, something like that, 3-0, and then Alaves, 1-0, so all good. The way La Liga's looking at the moment, we're top, brilliant, good news, Barcelona are second on 79 points, we're on 83 points, so there's four points in it, basically, so I guess you could kind of say that this game... It's pretty much a six-pointer, whatever that means. You know, we we need to win it. A draw would be good. You know, a draw wouldn't be the end of the world. A draw would be comfortable and it would mean that everything is now in our own hands. Um, anything less than a draw, a loss, it's still in our own hands, just about, but it makes things very, very tight there. So we're on track. We're on target. We need a good performance today. We've got Alvaro Morata, top scorer in the Liga. Diego Costa second, still 19 and 18 goals for them, which is which is brilliant. Uh, Thomas Lamar has got the, uh, the most assists as well. As we know, Barcelona are a decent team. We don't need to go into too much detail, especially as I'm going to try and squeeze two games into today's episode. Interestingly there, the odds are not favouring either team. Evens there, so could go either way, according to the press. Let's have a look at our tactic for this game. It's still the 4-4-2, a positive 4-4-2. And I am going to go positive. I think... Where my downfall has come at times has been being a bit too cautious against some of the bigger teams. And I think that, it, it, you, you know, there's a tendency to feel scared against the likes of Barcelona and Juventus and um, Liverpool. And actually, I think to play to our strengths or to, or to play attacking football is probably what we should do. We do it against every other team, so why not, why not go out there and play our game? I've said in the past that that's what I want to do, so why don't I just fucking do it? <laughs> There's one other person that I just want to introduce you to quickly, and that is German, German, German Valera, who is, um, who's just been promoted from uh, the under 23s up into the first team because he looks like he can, he can, he can do it. He's a decent young prospect. He's actually plays for them in real life as well, plays for uh, Atletico in real life. And he's, he's made the first team on a, on a few occasions as well. A good up and coming character. Got no picture for him yet. So I'm going to have to sort that out, but. Yeah, we'll get that sorted for next week. So this is the team. Henan Lodi, left back. Jimenez and Felipe in the middle. Trippier on the right. This is this is my strongest team, I think, pretty much. Um, Lamar on the left. Koke Saul in the middle. Correa on the right. Diego Costa and Morata up front. We've got Urente on the bench. Um, Herrera is out because he's suspended at the moment. Arias is injured. So we don't have much cover for right back at the moment. But... I think that's a strong team. We've got Felix there as well, who can come on if needs be. And I think, if anything, this is this is the team to do it. One other thing that we have introduced is, and, and I'm, I'm not 100% sure whether it's going to work or not, um, but we've introduced play for set pieces. And that's just because I think we've been really good at set pieces recently, and I want to make sure that we get some against Barcelona. Because if we can deliver, I mean, Lamar delivers a killer ball, Saul delivers a killer ball. If we can get, and Koke as well, in fact, fucking everybody does, um, if, if we can get some decent balls into the box to these guys up front, Costa, Morata, Felipe running in at the back post, who knows what might happen. Here we go. So we're at home as well, which is which is a good advantage, I think. I didn't mention it's daytime. I'm recording in the day. Kids are at nursery. I'm recording in the day. All's good. Kicking off. We kick off and Felipe immediately finds Trippier. Rock and Trips do. I bet this is on full highlights, isn't it? Here comes Lamar. Here's Lodi. And is that a throw-in or a corner? That's a throw-in straight away. Jimenez. Lodi. Oh, Jimenez just keeps it in. Did he? No. 
So far so good, we've had two shots, they've had none. 11 minutes gone, here comes Jimenez. Koke. Oh, Koke! Whoa! 14 minutes, Barcelona have got a corner, here goes Messi. Oh, it's a good delivery, but we Oh! That was a dodgy foul. What? Someone been sent off? He's been sent off? So it skipped that for some reason, but there was... Barcelona had a player sent off. So Barcelona are down to 10 men. Brilliant news. Rakitic. Costa dispossesses him. And Costa's away. Look how fast he is. Score, Costa. Yes! 10 men. 1-0 down after 20 minutes. This is looking positive. What fucking skill from Costa there. That's what you need from your pressing forward on support. That's exactly what you should be doing. Suarez is on a yellow now as well. Messi, Suarez! Oh, black saves. Corner. Lamar with the delivery. PK clears. Felipe, give it back to Lamar. No, Saul. Good ball over the top to Lamar. Lamar! Oh, Roberto. Can Lodi get to it? Yes, he can. He goes past Suarez, finds Koke. And Koke's the main playmaker at the moment, it looks like. He's just taking his time. Finds Saul, does he? No, Trippier. Trippier, good ball to Correa. Correa! And Ter Stegen has to make the save. We look comfortable. Very comfortable. Here's Lamar. Maratta over the top. Jimenez. Lodi. Lamar. Lamar. He's beating his man. Oh, Rakitic. Oh, Rakitic only just keeps it in. Straight to Lodi. Barcelona is shit. Lamar. Saul! Oh, what a goal! Saul! 2 0. 10 men Barcelona. It's, it's on. It's on for winning the league now. Oh, yes, Saul. 2 0. At half time, and it, it, there haven't been a massive amount of highlights, but 12 shots to one, five shots on target. They've had no shots on target, and they're down to 10 men. Gonna savor this moment 2 <laughs> 2 0. We're beating Barcelona, and they're down to 10 men. This is gonna be nice. We surely we can get some more. We've got to watch out for him still, though, haven't we? Messi, Vidal, Messi. Oh, he's capable of all kinds of things. Makes him sound like a bit of a murderer, doesn't it? The only person, the only, only team getting murdered at the moment is Barcelona by us. And here comes Lodi. Lodi. Oh, Rakitic tackles him just in time. But Saul again! Oh, oh Saul! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Two unbelievable strikes from Saul. Both worthy of goal of the week, season, month, whatever you, whatever you choose. I should point out as well, I'm not on the public beta at the moment. I'm just using the, the normal version, so... Let's do some substitutions. We've got a couple of yellow cards here, so um, we'll take Correa off. In fact, let's give Felix a go on the wing there. Um, and actually, because it's Felix, we'll make him, instead of that, we'll make him wide playmaker, perhaps. Jimenez might as well come off for Pau Torres, seeing as he's... Seeing as he's tired already. Okay, that will do for now. And then we'll just take a risk on Koke because he's playing so well. Nothing's happened since the last substitution, so 70 minutes now we're on. I'm going to take... Uh, where is he? I'm going to take Lamar off as well because he's looking a bit tired there, 66%. So um, let's give the new lad a go. Valera. Let's see what he can do. In fact, what would he like to play? He can play whatever he likes. There you go, sir. You can be a winger. Let's go. Okay, Koke with the corner. Felipe! What did I say about set pieces? Felipe wasn't on the far post, but he was running in for the header. Everything is everything is perfectly aligned. Get in. They've taken Messi off. Griezmann's still on though. Rakitic. Rakitic again. PK pushing them back. Sergio, they're, I mean, they're going to try and score, aren't they? It'd be nice to not let them score. 
clean sheet would be good. Vidal, Rakitic. I mean, they're not going anywhere. Rakitic. Vidal. Just watch the ball over the top. Oh, I thought we were going to get it off him then. Is Rakitic. He can shoot. Oh, Griezmann can. Oof. The black saves. 92 minutes. Lodi. Koke. Lodi. We're going to win the league now, aren't we? Here's Valera. Oh, he couldn't quite get to it. Surely the ref's going to blow his whistle, though. There can't be much more time. And there it is. Full time. 4-0 against Barcelona. And look at some of these performances. Saul. Unplayable today. Unbelievable. Ah, how the tables have turned, Antoine Twati Griezmann. Griezmann suffers defeat against former club. We've come a long way since the 3-1 defeat to Barcelona earlier on in the season, perfected the formation a little bit, got the right players in the right positions with the right mentalities and the right roles and, and everything. Uh, and I think, you know, it's fair to say we were the better team today. Saul was unplayable, absolutely ridiculous. And Griezmann didn't even get a look in really. I think he had one or two shots, but nothing major. So that's, <laughs> I mean, what, what do you say? I mean, that's pretty much going to have won us the league I think that well, that could have won us the league as long as we don't do any more fuck ups let's have a quick look I mean look at that now that looks nice doesn't it 86 points they've still got a game in hand but even so we're a long way ahead now and by the way if you were in dupe's live stream well done by the way dupe for that 48 hour stream I don't think I could have handled that but if you were in dupe's stream you would have remembered me getting some shit for playing Saul at left back well have a look at this He's an accomplished left back, it says there. And even in his description, it says defensive midfielder, midfielder right centre, defence left. So there you go, Dupe. I expect an apology. 